Okay, so in this problem, we're told a child sitting 1.2 meters from the center of a merry-go-round moves with a speed of 1.3 meters per second. Calculate A, the centripetal acceleration of the child, and B, the net horizontal force exerted on the child of mass 22.5 kg. So basically, we have this child. They're going to be going around this merry-go-round. Uh, we're given the radius, uh, their velocity, and their mass. And so to, cal uh, to calculate A, they're asking for the centripetal acceleration. So we denote that with a sub r. And in order to solve for that, we just are going to plug into a basic formula, uh, which is uh, centripetal acceleration is velocity squared divided by the radius. So both of these things were actually just given. So it's just a matter of plugging it in. Uh, we know the velocity and we know the radius. Uh, they're in the correct units. So just a matter of plugging it in. So centripetal acceleration is going to be 1.30 squared divided by 1.2, which is equal to 1.408, so just about 1.4 meters, 1.4 meters per second squared, because that's the units of acceleration. So uh, this right here will be your answer to A, or uh, yeah, so the centripetal acceleration. Uh, let's move on to B. So for B, they're asking the net horizontal force and so for this, they're basically just dropping, uh, talking about the centripetal force. So to calculate that, uh, F sub C is equal to M A sub R. So centripetal force equals mass times the centripetal acceleration. So just like the normal F equals M A, but with uh, centripetal. So they give us the mass too. So it's just 22.5. And then we're multiplying this by the 1.4. So plugging this in, 22.5 times 1.4 that gives you 31.5 uh, the units of force are newtons so 31.5 newtons that's uh the net horizontal force exerted on the child so they're basically just talking about centripetal force uh but yeah so this is your centripetal acceleration this is your centripetal force so those are your answers and hopefully you found this useful